If they keep cutting off their weeks for combat, there's not going to be much for them left. Just, you can't keep doing that. Not for long. They'd Under- have to grow new balls elsewhere. Oh, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, humanity stands on the brink of extinction. Good stuff. <laughs> classic, a classic tale. A classic tale. <laughs> so that's like the one once upon a time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, really. this little bit. We're going to have a quest of perilous adventure in the heart of an alien fortress. Some... What is a Blackstone Fortress? Blackstone Fortress is like an ancient space station made by beings from thousands of years ago. Do we have a model? Um, we can edit one in. Yeah. <laughs> The people who made it extinct thousands of years ago, but ancient technology lies within. Oh. So explorers and um, tech priests and crazy people have all turned up, and it's vast. It's, it's like it's like as big as a moon, and everyone's like walking around these ancient tunnels, triggering booby traps and security systems, looking for the treasure lurked inside. A little shanty town has like been built up on one of the docking ports, where everyone's like parked their spaceships, and there's like a marketplace and like a, a town hub has set up there. The explorers go down into the depths, fight off monsters, some of them come back with treasure, and they sell it to the, like, the market on this shanty town called The Precipice. Wow. So, we just finished the game. Mm-hmm. It was a, a mess. <laughs> <laughs> doors are walls and walls are floors. Yeah. The floors have no walls or doors. I loved it. The best. Um, it started off really, really hard, and we almost died and straight away. Straight away? <laughs> the <laughs> chasm. Chasm must be crossed for the explorers to continue their journey. No problem. Make an agility roll for each explorer. One. You pass. Amazing. Agility. Oh god, my my nav- my wizard is his hat. His hat's too big. He's gonna fall down the pit. He rolls a shit dice. But before that, sorry, before we go into that too much, so there were four adventures. We had an AI, a robot adventure with us the whole time. This guy. He was amazing. He was actually um, a, a rogue AI. Yeah, he's um, he's one of the fabled men of iron from the Age of Strife, mm. an AI Terminator style that tried to wipe out humanity. Eventually they lost the war, and after that, artificial intelligence was banned from all. Um, and they were known as AI abominable intelligence. So I was a I was a dashing a dashing mercenary captain. I think you were supposed to be a swashbuckler who was out there sword fighting on the front lines. But I was but looking for loot. That didn't really happen. <laughs> yeah, it was more of a loot <laughs> goblin <laughs> who kept jumping initiative to steal all the loot. I was a, like a telepath, psycho guy, very weak in combat, but could project like energy force fields and uh, manipulate. Destiny. You had more support abilities. Support roles mainly. Yeah. I was kind of, I was a crew, a little, a little fella, a cute little fish Chicken man. man. And he has like booby traps, which I just love to put down. Boom! So that one dies straight up. I, I heard it go off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's the home alone, isn't it? Where yeah. just, yes. Get you. Yes. <laughs> It's like a paint pot, like hit the fucking spin in the face. But no, so we started off, we left Precipice, the yeah, town. the shanty town outside the Blackstone Fortress. I really like that as a setting. Mm. It's a really cool place to imagine, right? Yeah, this all the ships are parked up and you've got like... On the edge of this like treasure hoard, like full of monsters and horrible traps and goblins and stuff, like just mm. perched on the edge. And the first thing we found actually, where many adventurers fell, was the chasm. You pass. Amazing. Right outside town. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, we got the lift and immediately a bottomless pit. Amazing. Now, the problem is, is that the way this works is you have to go through eight cards, right? Yeah. Uh, and they were each slightly different. And the first one we found was one where if you fail it, you you just die. And he does. He, he's, it's bad times for me. He <laughs> fails. I didn't miss it. You fell down a castle. I don't have any loot to drop, so instead I roll that dice. I suffer a grievous wound. So I slam into the side. The robot catches me as I fall into the pit, and it like breaks my arm. <laughs> so yeah, I, I fell in as well. Beans to... Twenty. Oh, Ooh. natural twenty. The explorer is miraculously unharmed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be a really bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the other way. No, if you'd rolled a one. 
he would have died. <laughs> died. Yeah. Just there's a bottomless chasm. Yeah. I feel like if you roll a 20 falling into a chasm, you should also find some treasure in the chasm. Really Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, a, like an adventurer only fell halfway down the chasm mm -hmm. and you get some of their old loot. Yeah, your yeah. fall was broken by a giant yeah. pile of gold. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have been so ungrateful. Yeah. Um, it was a hell of a start though, wasn't it? it was Three a... of us falling into the fucking chasm before we even started. <laughs> yeah. Well, they shouldn't have left it right outside the town. <laughs> what an adventure that would have been. <laughs> the Yannis <laughs> Everyone remember his name. <laughs> okay, the robot. The robot falls Ooh, down the pit dude. as well. Okay, so and he's also wounded. <laughs> Maybe it's like the loot it's, killer. It's like, a filtering system. They don't want everyone swarming in like a bloody Glastonbury Festival situation. Yeah, they like, have a big chasm there. Yeah. You can't Weed jump out 90% of the people trying to get in. Yeah. If you can't survive a little fall into a chasm. Then the Chaos yeah, Marines are like, definitely going to kill you. Oh, man. So next we went into this ambush. We got ambush straight up. Oh, Ben, no. Dude. Boom. The first thing that happened was Ben drew a Chaos Lord out of the deck. Check. Number one is... <laughs> chaos Space Marine Lord, two Chaos Marines and a Rogue Psycho. <laughs> okay, that's quite a lot of shit Ben. The three most powerful creatures in the game. And he was Straight off the bat. Su a super badass. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Are we going to try this? Just run. That's what we'll do. We'll just run. Okay. Thunder hammer and plasma pistol. There and actually attitude. aren't any more difficult bad guys in the in the base game. models. Yeah. You know, there's no big dragon or like monster or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, we were in a little bit of a pickle because the robot could only move one. Mm -hmm. And so he was sort of limiting our movement because we we calculated that it would cost us two and a half turns to get to the exit. Went to the chopper! To survive mm -hmm. this ambush, right? Because we could, couldn't kill the Chaos Lord. That's okay. I can handle one Chaos Marine Elites, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. It's pretty squidgy. If I can't handle one Chaos Marine Elites, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. None. No armor, so you've taken a Grievous Wound. Ow. But the real clutch moment came just as the lift arrived for us to evacuate. We were all packing ourselves in, pushing the robot on. We're just cowering behind this giant robot. Scuttled into a lift. I put a force field up to protect the robot. It's like the Chaos Lord read our minds. Uh, oh my god, when it's overcharging the plasma pistol, no defense rolls can be made. Because he overcharged his plasma pistol that ignores armor and force field. Oh, oh miss. <laughs> that is such a relief. Because that's all we've got. That's armor. all we've got is armor. <laughs> But he gets a second go. The robot's really tanky and tough, right? It has this really high armor save, and Ben doubles the armor save. So we're like, he can't fucking die. Yeah. And then the Chaos Lord's like, I oh, don't know, but I've got to just ignore just, all of that. I just ignore your armor. Twice. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's a crit. Critical hit. No armor saves allowed. Pop another grievous wound on the robot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he, uh, 25. Critical damage. We're going to end this expedition real fast. <laughs> If, uh, if uh, 25 goes down. Yeah, like we were all waiting on the lift, pushing the robot on, and then just as we we're about to go, Alex is like, oh, no, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. I've got some dice left. <laughs> I can go and run back in. I'm stuck here. I can see this happening. <laughs> these, dice, these dice are you just found shooting the down. Booby trap. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh, shit. I, I risk assessed it. Yeah. And just ducked out. Um, you feel that all the four. We're all stood on the lift going, hurry up! As the Chaos Lord is like recharging his plasma pistol. <laughs> there was some loot there. I had to get back. What you, what's Alex going to get? You're going to get. Oh my fucking life. How many of these are there? You grabbed it up. It was amazing. You roll back onto the lift just as the doors are shutting in. It was the, the first style. piece of loot we collected. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened to be the one in 54 card in the deck <laughs> that you actually need. Okay, so every character's got their own unique secret agenda, and if what? they find it, they instantly level up. So it's like a special thing that they are looking for. There's, only one, of them, there's one of them in the deck. You just got the one thing you needed. Everyone has their own like secret mission thing. Hmm. So yours was to hold, find this this yeah. your, your grandpappy's yeah. old pocket watch. Yeah, and did it. Turn, yeah, did it. Turn so one, yeah. I was I was happy to leave at that point. You just wanted to go back to base yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, that was basically it. I would, I would have been fine. Mm. Your dad went exploring in the Blackstone Fortress and never came back. And you've got to, like, you came here on he a personal quest. He didn't get very quest. far, basically. No, he got to... <laughs> 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 the Chaos Lord, like, just thumped his head in with a thunder hammer. Yeah. You didn't even get as far as the Chaos Lord. He just got smashed up by the little bot dude. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so then we got back, piled in the lift, shut the door of the Chaos Lord, mm -hmm. went up or down. Sideways. Back through time. Who knows? Charlie in the chocolate factory, <laughs> through the elevator, through the ceiling. And uh, then Alex found some secret knowledge.
Would Alex just have picked the Lord? The Chaos Lord? Do you know what I mean? No, I think he's picked a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man's face. <laughs> Stop giving away stuff, Alex. <laughs> Point your face. Yeah. Okay, do they, do they, um... Can they only make melee attacks? Yes. Ooh, oh, he's picked a melee thing. I don't even know which thing could... It's only a melee <laughs> thing. That Almost everything has guns. Apart from those little shits, those little Urgles. The Urgles, the, uh, I think those electro whippy machine boys. Oh no, they, he does, Alex would say he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they shoot lightning. Who the fuck knows? It's got to be the little cheeky Urgles. I don't even need a question. It's the Urgles. They picked the goofiest monster. It wasn't a clutch play. It didn't, it wasn't tactically that sound. But it's definitely the goofiest monster in the game. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we've played games together enough that we would have known what Alex would have done. <laughs> Alex isn't going to go, okay, hmm, well, this will give us rerolls if we pass. So maybe I'll pick the strongest bad guy then. Well, he'll be easier to kill. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the, not the power game of choice for Alex. <laughs> look at those dudes. They look weird. <laughs> he thought. My biggest fear was that because we we're playing 20 questions rules, but with three yeah. rules, is that I would have picked one of the nonsense monsters in here that you've never heard of that I've never heard of before, and you would have asked me a really technical law question about it, and I'd have oh, said, "Yes, how many spines does it exude <laughs> when it is frightened?" Yes, explain exactly. the mating rituals <laughs> of the earth. Yeah, the funniest things. So I think I knew the most fluff-wise about them. I mean, Chaos Cultists is a bit vague. I Tell don't know. me about Urgles, Alex. So Urgles, they the Dark Eldar like keep them in their fighting pits and use them to like sneak around. They're like horrible like golem on steroids. Yeah. Like looking yeah. for the precious. Yeah, oh they're just God. fucking horrible, horrible things. I think I think they're blind. I think that's yeah, part of the fluff, isn't it? Yeah. So they don't have eyes and they just literally just scuttle around in the darkness like of Camorra. Like six noses. With like So you're scared oh, of fighting them. They're like the things from yeah. the descent. Yes. Those guys? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it says in the beast room. Have you seen the descent? Yeah, it's like, so yeah, <laughs> so now now it's gonna be easier for us to, to kill so Urgles. So we get re-roll attacks against them. Oh, no, in the next in the next combat in which they are encountered. Yes. Oh right. So, so next the next time, time they turn we, up. Next time we find some Urgles, yeah, we'll we, be able to fight. We've them. learned the secret of shooting them in the balls. And then yeah. forgot it immediately. <laughs> and then they adapt. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> then they cut off their balls ritually before combat. <laughs> <laughs> they no longer have the weak spot. Yeah. If they keep cutting off their weak spot for combat, there's not going to be much for them. You can't keep doing that. Not for long. They'd have to grow new balls elsewhere on their body. And this, is, this is why they don't have eyes already. They've already. Oh, they've already, 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 already <laughs> that's a weak spot. <laughs> exactly. You're perfect. They used to be giant cyclopses. Yeah. They got shot in the eye too many times, and now they've evolved. So yeah, it did pay off actually, because in the very next room. It was also, it was another combat. It was an Urgul lair. Yeah, so on one side we had Urgul's hiding in the dark, on the other side we had like traitor guard entrenched in uh, defensive positions. I'm hoping because there's seven of them, that means they're terrible. <laughs> and you were like, I've got this, in, I've got this sword. I know what's gonna happen, they're gonna come running at us, they're gonna all blow up on my booby traps. Mm -hmm. And of course the Urgul's like, they go into the shadows. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> 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 they're onto you, Lewis. They're onto you. Dribble have... away into the sewer vent. So they can all go and sneak into that cupboard. Scuttle around here and wait for us to like come close. So when we come for their treasure, they're like, Blah. I see. And uh, that's what that's what that's thinking with Urgles. Just and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. my whole plan is now fucked because we yep. just got all these booby traps blocking us. And we've just like um, choke pointed ourselves because we can't set off your booby trap. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you, are you, do, you, do you think you're going to charge in, Alex? I don't think you've given me any other option. <laughs> <laughs> so we squeezed around the booby traps <laughs> yeah. and I put myself in harm's way a little bit. Mr. Mm, Loader dies. Leroy Jenkins into those guards now. I don't know why I was being so reckless when, when we got old <laughs> swashbuckler and super robot. <laughs> yeah. But at this point, I didn't really know. You what, didn't know how strong you were. I didn't know what was going you on. You didn't know where you were. <laughs> <laughs> some, some fucking weird chicken lizard man Someone's... running around with a stupid gun <laughs> yeah. on a spaceship. Oh, I can force, I could spend a six to mind control one of them and make them move into the booby trap. Perfect. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Straight into the paint can. I guess you get the kill for that. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to kill the guardsmen after just scuffling with them for well, quite yeah. a while. We all had to run in and say, pull your ass out of the fire. Yeah. And then there was this terrible moment when they finally were completely destroyed and the one remaining one ran away. Mm -hmm. And it was at that moment when all of our guns were fully reloaded. And we were just ready and we, to run. We'd taken a nice deep breath <laughs> that the Urgles attacked. <laughs> Who am I? 
critical hit. No. Dead Urgle. You can explode one with my death eyes. And you get to re-roll it if you've missed, remember, because we're fighting Urgles. Oh yeah! Right in the balls! You shot it right in the balls, you knew where to hit it. I'm gonna do them again. So what happened was then we walked out into the corridor and there were three treasure goblins mm -hmm. running away. Yeah, little monsters who'd stolen mm. all the loot ahead of us. Full of gun, full of treasure. Mm. And we gunned those motherfuckers down. <laughs> yeah. To the man. Really bad. <laughs> to the man. To the man. <laughs> Yay, Yay. loot goblins for everyone. Who <laughs> gets an architect too? <laughs> uh, and then we went into Encounter number seven, which was the combat, the final combat encounter of the mm. game. And this was actually quite spooky. This was tough. There were four groups of bad guys, one central corridor down the middle, four chambers, each chamber with a bad guy in. We yeah. Like fight our way through and get to the lift. So what happened was I thought, this looks like a really good choke point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a boo-boo trap on the choke point. So I did, <laughs> but not really realizing that 15 enemies were going to come into yeah. the choke point. And all the enemies were going to hit the choke point and you were the one choking them. <laughs> I'll move here. One, two, three, and I'll put the trap down. And they did get a bit blocked up, but... Uh, he rolls a big dice. No. That's oh, a crit. No. <laughs> Crunch. Did. They also choked me to death. And Alex then used, took up the choke point from then on. I didn't know exactly which way to run though, because there were enemies behind us, forcing us down into the choke point as mm. well. Yeah, so that's right. So we got the robot out of the lift on full health, and with, I think he rolled about three sixes. And so he just, I think he killed four guards. Oh my God. Is he just going to kill everything? The other guy is wounded. And the third shot is a kill. With a massive assault cannon and just hoses down four chaos cultists in one barrage. They just, they, they were like standing mm. around a campfire, like singing songs and stuff. Oh my God. And we just kicked in the, the lift came door. came out of the elevator. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then luckily Robot saved us again while, we, while you were dying and Alex was near death and I was trying to hold up a force field to keep back the tides of chaos. The robot just turned around and went, right, finish with that room. Oh, look, a long straight corridor filled with enemies. And it was just <laughs> Space Hulk. It was Space Hulk. He walked down the corridor shooting a minigun, then... killing everything. So after that combat, of course, we found a sealed, a magnetic door chamber. We got a treasure chest, I guess. Oh, perfect. And so we sent the robot in to punch it open. <laughs> yeah. He did nothing. <laughs> no, nothing at all. <laughs> and then, like, I will not hurt a fellow metal thing. <laughs> and then you puny psyker, six, seven, eight. So, so we've done eight, the punch part did one, and I with my little cane have done seven. <laughs> <laughs> and and then, it came down to Alex with the final dice roll. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's bullshit. So we, we ended up, I think we, we went back to Precipice. We visited our ships. You did a bit of gambling. This can go in. You took your like dungeon loot and invested it in fine antique wines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very smart. You can't complain. I mean, I, that's a win for me. <laughs> vintage boots. Some vintage boots from the Vanguard. Just trade your grandfather's clock for the boots. <laughs> I had a really good time. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a bit of a prototype experimental video. I hope you like it. Mm, give us mm. feedback. Let us know. What did you like? What didn't you like? What do you want more of? What did we do wrong? Of? What was weird? What rules did we do wrong? Oh, we're not going to show them the rules, are we? God, we did a lot of rules wrong. We've never played nice. this before. <laughs> <laughs> we probably like completely cheated our way through the whole thing. No one will know, though. No. It's the way we're doing these things. It's our little secret. <laughs> <laughs>